side of Welcome back to Women of Color 2023. We are so excited that you're here. This is the 28th annual conference. We're here in Detroit and we're so excited. I'm sitting here with Asia Mims, who is a general engineer at the U.S. Army DevCon. And she is one of our technology all-star winners. So tell us about living and growing up in Patterson. Did you were you thinking about going into the United States Army back then? Well, I'm a civilian worker. Okay. Um, I'm not enlisted, but um, in Patterson, initially, initially I didn't even think about going into STEM. Uh, when I was in high school, I was introduced to computer programming. And through pro computer programming, I did my first uh, program, and I was excited. I was always good in math, science, but never thought about becoming an engineer. That wasn't, you know, on my radar. Right. But once I was exposed to the program, and I absolutely loved it. And from there, uh, I went to New Jersey Institute of Technology, graduated from there. As soon as I graduated from there, I was recruited by uh, Pickle City Arts. Mm. And I um, was a computer engineer there, and I've been there for 23 years now. So when you look at all of the scope of work that you have, uh, are you designing, or um, how does your department work within the department, within the Army? Well, the uh, majority of my work that uh, I, I do, I, I did do, <laughs> sorry, uh, it's computer programming. We actually program uh, weapon systems. Okay. Uh, it's very rewarding because you get to see your uh, work in the field, protecting the soldiers, giving them the uh, information that they actually need to survive for all of us. Mm -hmm. So um, it's a double reward. You get a reward for doing the work and seeing your product actually actually come to fruition. But then you also know that someone's son daughter is out there and you helping to protect mm -hmm. them so you're doing your part mm -hmm. you know for the uh so so you're in a in an office environment yes and so when you start looking at the type of work and i know a lot of that is probably classified mm -hmm. but when you're looking at the work that you do and when you were growing up as a little girl did you ever think that you would get to this place and never Really? Never. It, it, it wasn't on my radar. Um, STEM in itself, as a, as a woman, that wasn't something that, uh, you know, uh, that wasn't something that they said, hey, go into this. They might say other things, you know, secretary, you know, teacher, something more, you know, nourishing. But something that was male-dominated, mm -hmm. never. Um, my, mm -hmm. my college, NJIT, New Jersey Institute of Technology, it actually used to be Newark College of Engineering, and it was oh, all male. Really? It used to be all male. And um, to be able to go to that school, knowing that it was all male, and see the females. I mean, in, in the STEM uh, realm, the, the, the number of women is increasing, which is very, very good to know. And important. And very important. Yes. So um, for me to be able to represent being a woman in such a male-dominated field and, and be successful, I'm glad that I'm that role model for other girls. I have a daughter, mm -hmm. and she sees me working and make sure I'm passionate about my work. Mm -hmm. So uh, for her to see it, it gets her excited as well. So I'm hoping that other girls will see the same thing. And it's not, it's not anything special I've done. It's just putting my passion with the work that I love and, and the success just comes from there. That's very interesting because too often we don't really realize how important it is for us to be there, to have a place in that space. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And especially with uh, a military environment that's very um, organized and constructed, the environment's constructed. Yes. Yeah. And so, <laughs> and so, what are the percentages, <clears throat> excuse me, or guesstimate uh, for either women or minority women? Minority women, the, the percentage is very low. Mm -hmm. Women, 
a little higher total as a total, but minorities, it's a, it's a little lower. Um, sometimes, sometimes you, when you see someone, you're like, oh, okay, I'm not alone. Mm -hmm. um, but to be the trailblazer, to start bringing people, getting them interested, um, I'm also a mentor. Great. Um, there. And um, to be able to speak to other women, um, I, I, I mentor men as well. It's not uh, just um, men, but for the women, you give that extra encouragement because sometimes when you're the, uh, not the only one, but it's not one a of lot, few, one of few, <laughs> you know, it can be discouraging at times. And, and to be able to talk to somebody who can actually relate mm -hmm. to you yes. and what you're doing, yes. it makes a world of difference. And it's huge. It is. It is huge. It is. And, and so when we look down the road, mm -hmm. you know, you've been there for a few minutes and, but do we look at, are you looking at, this is a place where I want to retire from? At, at, this, at this point, yes. Mm -hmm. I don't think I'm um, going anywhere, but, but I, I, I'm, I always look for something new. Mm -hmm. um, one of the things that I pride myself on is when I master one thing, I want to go and learn something else. I want to always improve because I want to always be an asset. So if I can be an asset elsewhere and let someone else come in and, and do the work that I mastered already, that that would be great. I like the challenge. So um, I'm always looking for something new and something different uh, to challenge myself. It, it keeps things interesting. I love it. But you, but that's the only way you can grow. Exactly. You can't just be stagnant. No. Right? No. And when I'm stagnant, it, it bothers me. So I'm actually, okay, what's my next move? Mm -hmm. You know, what, what other area I've dabbled in contracting? I was a software developer. Oh my goodness. Uh, a team, uh, project lead, you know, so, but management and, and leading is, is, is my niche. Mm -hmm. it's, it's the area that I come second nature to me. I love it. So that's the, that's the place where I am now. So what college did you go to? Uh, New Jersey Institute of Technology. I received a BS in computer engineering, and then I went back and got my master's of science in uh, engineering management. I am so not that girl with those numbers. <laughs> I'm not. That's not who I am. I always, <laughs> I always, I always, every every person I come in contact with say I hate math. <laughs> so I said you can't hate math. Math is money. Oh, oh. and there you have and it. And if you look at it as math is money, then you learn you learn that piece. <laughs> Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Some people are like, yeah, I just let someone else deal with that. But um, it just comes naturally I love to it. me. Yeah. yeah. So. And that's important. Mm -hmm. You know, because a lot of young girls look at math and they run away. Mm -hmm. And so what can we do in our communities or in our schools or our churches, wherever, to get young girls focused on the possibilities for growth and a career in changing your lifestyle? Well, I think the first problem is everyone does not learn the same way. Uh. And when you try to teach, sometimes students have a hard time. And I always give this example. If this student is having a hard time, he's not useless or she's not useless. Just find a way for them to understand. Maybe they don't understand the way that you're teaching it and you have to tweak it. So I believe in tweaking things because I, I believe everyone can learn something. It's just, about, you, you just have to figure out what way is best for them to learn. And if we don't take that time yes. to teach them that yes. and to figure out, Mm -hmm. then that's when we lose right, people right, right. but no one no one is I, I hate the word dumb no one is dumb stupid or can't learn mm -hmm. everyone can learn you just have to figure out how to teach it. and how yes for them to receive what you're exactly. saying exactly and that it's makes exactly a difference right. because it's not a one for all mm -hmm. it's really not so mm -hmm. um sometimes uh my daughter she'll have a little, little problem with the, the math. And I mm -hmm. said, in my house, you can't have problems with math. <laughs> not, so, here. not here. No. Your mom's an engineer. You, you can't, can't do that right here. No. Yes, yes. Yes. <laughs> but um, what, what, ultimately what happens um, in one situation, she came home, she said, I just don't understand it. So I said, okay, let me show you my way of mm -hmm. explaining it and I explained to her she was like oh I get it now right. so it, it really sometimes mm -hmm. is taking that time to see exactly mm -hmm. what the problem is and um, 
just you know giving it to them the way that they can understand it so, so where were you in 1950 something because um, girl i wasn't that girl <laughs> <laughs> i am so not that math girl um, I, I just i I, I make a joke that I'm more of an emotional uh, engineer. Most engineers are very introverted, mm -hmm. don't want to talk. Now, I have my time okay. when I'm like that. But um, when it comes to certain things, you know, I, I have more compassion for people. Right. Because um, sometimes we have a, a, a tendency to push people who won't mm -hmm. get it quickly mm -hmm. over to the side but you mm -hmm. don't know what kind of contribution that person can that's make right. because that's no right. one's useless you just have mm -hmm. to figure out how to use them mm -hmm. so that's, that's my philosophy and everything but so. that's very important and it it's is. critical in how you interact with people yeah. either in a workplace at home or in your neighborhood yeah. and yeah. that's real yeah, you can use it mm -hmm. all over so it's not a, it's not just for work or you know if, if you think about that and keep that in mind then you'll go far yeah so what does this technology all-star award mean to you? I'm honored. Um, I was shocked. <laughs> I, I didn't know about the Women of Color uh, Conference. Okay. I, so it opened my eyes to this, and now I'm telling people about it. Um, I have a very supportive family, so my family is very proud. They're, like, screaming from the top of the uh, It's buildings. huge. Yeah, so mm -hmm. I'm, 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 I'm humbled, <laughs> you know, 23 years of working, it's just mm -hmm. I, I'm doing my job. Yeah. But to be, to be recognized, mm -hmm. it makes all the difference. It's like that cherry on top, mm -hmm. and it's just telling me, you did good. So mm -hmm. for me, that's what it is. I, 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 I did pretty good. So I have more, though. Okay. Oh, no question. <laughs> yeah, we we expect a lot more awards from you, young lady. Um, uh, that's my goal. Okay. Asia Mims, thank you so much. Thank Congratulations, you. You and we hope to see you throughout the rest of the weekend. Thank you. Thank okay. You. Nice meeting you. Nice meeting you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be right back with our next guest.